Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys my final recap and final thoughts on Rakudai Kishi no Calvary and this could be also called Shivery of a Failed Knight. Now this episode, final one, was a pretty nice one. I had a lot of fun with it. Say what you will about me, say what you gotta say. Anything that like um you need to spit out or something, go ahead after I'm done with this video, you know? So if anything else, let's just get this started. Okay, you know, we have to it that Ike Kurogane is pretty much like, um, a little concerned here and there, you know. Well, I had my concerns about him because he is physically and mentally deteriorated or not in good shape right now after what his father said to him, you know. And later on, you know, he has to it that he has to face Toka Toto or something, you know, that Raikiri Lightning president you know one of the strongest in the school that he's currently at right now but for the time being he is still like um running to the location and so forth and if he does not make it there in time like in 15 minutes he will lose by default you know and you know toka toka did talk to she did talk to ek's little sister about this kurogani Sh shizuku as she does not really want to fight him or something but she does not want to like um make this anything worse so you get the point if you understand the meaning between those two, you know? But eventually, you know, EK decides to continue fighting, and you know, he was not feeling so great until he is picked up by Shizuku, and all of his followers, the one that liked him and loved him because of what he can do, they all cheered him on and so forth. Stella makes it to the Seven Star Festival along with, along with his other friends, you know, and that was pretty cool. And I, I actually had a lot of fun and enjoyment seeing them encouraging him, you know? Even though people, some other people may not like him, there's always going to be other people to back him up on, which is something that um, that we all have in the world, you know. It, it's hard at first, but later on you're going to rise above that and keep going as usual, you know, which I really am happy to see. Eventually, Ek arrives, and Total Total Toka arrives, the Raikiri Lightning Girl, and they end up re getting ready to use everything they got. Even Ek used his trump card at the beginning and he's getting ready to fight with everything he's got you know and apparently everyone's watching here and there and EK used all of his um power and pushed himself beyond the entire limit and managed to defeat Toka Toda you know which is really really awesome like one slash against each other here and there and so forth and it was pretty tough honestly for them but I can understand certain stuff here and there and I really had my had my enjoyment um seeing that scene but one guy who looks like some big obese man is trying to kill ek say you cannot carry the kurogane name and therefore stella smacks him aside and we have to it that um uh, ek proposes to um stella and says will you be my family in other cases she says she accepts to be his bride and everyone's like oh my gosh they confess to each other in live tv are you kidding me and they end up kissing you know and as for Ike's father, he was contacted by the emperor or some person he knows, possibly, I think from the Vermilion family, and tells him, I know what happened right now, okay? It's best for you not to involve kids in adult schemes for the time being, alright? We want this for the best of our kids, and you know that. I'm pretty sure you do too, am I wrong? And therefore, you know, Ike gets celebrated as to be part of the Seven Star Festival. But not only that, he gets being part of being a leader of the Seven Star, of the seven people that made it, you know. And they get ready to, like, um, go into battle. And of course, you know, funny, it had a funny end, it had a funny ending towards, it had a funny ending in the end after Ike and Stella were trying to talk to each other. And she, Shiku's gonna teach, like, Stella about how to be a bride, etc. And I'm thinking about mine. Oh my gosh, dude, this is just hilarious, you know. So yeah, that's the it. We know have two of that. Ek, we I could summarize to you guys in simple bullet points. Ek did have is having some trouble physically and mentally, but he's backed up by the people that he taught and trained with, and then giving all he's got against Tokotoda, defeats her and becomes a leader, makes it to the Star Seven Festival, proposes to freaking Stella, and I'm thinking in my mind, oh my gosh, dude, that's just crazy. And of course the ending was pretty hilarious. Now, say what you will, but I think I had a lot of fun with this series. I know that this series is nothing original, that I won't deny, it's nothing special, nothing new, it's just the same thing you could find in any school theme, any harem, 
anime, okay? I won't deny that. You can find these things like in anything currently in modern anime right now. We all know that. I mean like, we all know what modern anime nowadays is now like. There's no denying that. There's no denying that. But when I looked at this series, there is a couple changes, but it doesn't deny that it's still not that great. I won't, I won't, I, I won't, I won't say no to that. I know it's nothing special, honestly. It's nothing original. It's like, oh, it's just like the same thing you can find in any, like, um, any anime, light novel, or manga currently. Like, any of those themes you see in here, you can find it out there. I won't deny that. But when I look at this character, E.K., I mean, I'm pretty sure we can find some other other characters that, that are like him too, and I won't deny that either. But when I look at this guy right here, I mean, he he has a very strong mental mental state, you know? If you guys been watching this series or even read the light novel, you will know what I'm talking about. So, that's why I like the guy and that's how much I like the series cuz he has a way, he has a lot, he has a strong mind and than any of us could imagine, you know? Especially with some tolerance level that he did to endure painfully, mentally and physically, you know? So he is a cool guy, which I respect, honestly, and that's why I like him. Not to mention Stella, though. I do have some if ifies and biffies about her. I won't deny that. I go like, eh, what the hell is she, you know? You get the point. You know, I do have some moments with this series, you know? And I know, like, I, ha I may have bad taste or bad taste in anime or something, and I won't deny that, I still need to work on that, but I still have my fun with this series, and there's no denying that. I know it's nothing special, it's, it's nothing that, nothing original, I won't deny that, but I still have my fun looking at the character E.K., even though, like, um, he may be, like, um, possibly cliche or generic or any character you could find in any other, like, um, manga in the shonen or sh shoujo or any type of genre of manga you could find, you know? I won't deny that, but when I look at him, you know, I, he's a pretty cool guy to me, you know? But overall for the story, you know, we already know what that that is if you even watch, if you watch, if you watch the anime or read the light novel, you know? But I still had my fun with this series, you know? Um, if there's any chance, I would like to see a season 2, but it may not happen until maybe after a couple more months or a couple more years passing pass by, and we don't know what the future of light novels, manga, and anime will be later on if many more years are coming to pass, you know? But um I still had had my had my stuff with I still had some good stuff good things with this series. So say what you will, I'm giving this seven out of ten if anything. Like um say say all that negativity towards me, but you know, like um I would really respect it if you could I would really like it if you could just respect my opinion on this series. I know it's nothing special, nothing original. I said that many times in this video and I and I repeatedly said it like more than three times possibly, but I still had my fun with this series. So I hope you to all those who've been watching this series, especially light novel readers or anime only watchers, you know, I hope you had fun as much as I did, especially especially looking at how develop how things develop with certain characters even though they may not have a lot of development but cer how certain events gave like um that development towards our main characters possibly but yeah you get the cue here and there so had my fun i hope you enjoyed the series as much as i did i hope there could be a season two maybe after a couple more months or a couple more years pass so until then i'll see you guys later all right i am alpha zero have a good day and i'll see you guys next in my next video peace out Bye-bye.